quick day. Um, I don't have much in the way of news. Uh, we are continuing to make progress on the 64-bit viewer. Um, that's coming along, but we're not... <laughs> uh, we're... <laughs> That's we're not quite there with the with the Mac builds yet, uh, and there are things to fix even about the Windows builds. But uh, we're we're making progress, and we're getting a lot of stuff cleaned up in the process, which is which is always good. A few things updated to newer versions. Uh, there's some possibility we'll have a a. Uh, a build before the before the break. Uh, it's just that we hadn't done all the library builds for the Mac yet. So we're we're slogging through that process. Uh, there actually haven't been any new. I, I, um, I don't know that we've done any new um, trunk builds since the last one I gave you. World. Sorry about that. It really wasn't the point of making the change, but uh, but we're 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 getting there. Uh, other, let's see, other viewer developments. I hope to have a new voice update for people to play with shortly after the new year. Um, and that will fix some bugs and add some better diagnostics to things that we think need attention. Uh, and uh, let's see, I'm we're also going to start work on fixing it so that you can fetch sounds and animations through HTTP. Uh, and then once that's happening, it will go through the CDN and you'll get them much, much more quickly. So um, uh, we don't have a plan, for a timeline for that early. Uh, we were we were talking about doing that more aggressively for a while, but we decided that some other things take priority. So we're not we're not spending much time on that. The voice thing I was talking about. So uh, anyway, there will be a new cap that will support. Fetching uh, all the viewer asset types, and I'm building. I've got a simulator that supports it, and I'm building a viewer that supports it, and then we'll we'll add that. And then I'd like everybody to get at some point next year. I'd like everybody to switch their viewers to doing it that way, and we will turn off loading sounds and animations via UDP on the simulator side. So uh, I'm not sure about gestures. I'm, there, there was something special about gestures. I have to, I have to check on that. It won't make any difference whether the animations are old or new. It's just how you fetch them from the asset store. <clears throat> the Right now, uh, they're sent as UDP, which is really, really slow uh, because of the way it's done um, compared to what it would be for uh, if you were loading it through the CDN. Uh, yeah, we we actually. We actually did some measurements on it recently, and we were all horrified. So, 
Um, that should reduce the sounds don't play as quick, you know, the play quickly the first time you encounter them problem. Um, we're very, very happy to see how enthusiastically content creators are starting to do bento content. Been seeing some very cool stuff. Um, I think that's, I think that's all the news I have. Don't really have, we're, we're trying to wrap up various projects. Uh, get them, get them into good state before the holiday slow period here. Uh, 360 snapshots are on hold so that we can focus everybody on the 64-bit viewer. But we'll, as soon as we have working versions of the 64-bit on all the platforms, we'll we'll go back to working on this. We'll keep improving. That's good to hear, Worley. Thank you. I, th I think we've got at least one of those fixed, and, and we fixed a couple others that we found. Uh, don't plan on doing that work on groups anytime soon. We've got other things on the server side that are getting attention. Uh, yes, I got that cinder and I'm trying to figure out whether it's a duplicate of one that was fixed in the maintenance branch already, but I will, I'll, I'll, I'll pass that on. Thank you. Appreciate that. Always love getting crash fixes. Well, that's great, Cinder. When you're ready for that to be a known thing, let me know and we'll update the third party viewer directory. <laughs> okay, Willie, we'll hang out. I'm not in any huge hurry. I do have a hard stop at, uh, well, uh, top of the hour. Oh, us? Are y'all doing anything, any kind of celebration for the Christmas, just out of curiosity? Uh, each office has its own holiday thing. Uh, in World, we are doing, yeah, what's the... Just got email about that recently. Uh, let me find it. There's the winter, winter something or other. Uh, what did we call? Is that going to be one worth? Yeah, we the snowball fights, snow snowball fights, and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, oh, another one of those. Great, wonderful. Yeah. That'll be uh, another snowball fight. I love that one. <laughs> oh, it's 
Sun Man kan? Ya. Uh, yeah, there it is. There's a there's a blog post. Monday. I'll I'll show up in there sometime. Do you know if we, Do you know if every Linden is going to be there for that one? Uh, every Linden has been invited. Oh, I hope he shows up. We we we, we got a company wide invite, so. Um, I don't know what the auto alpha masking feature is, so I can't. Let's see. Automatic alpha masks. I have no idea what automatic alpha masks is supposed to do. Uh, speaking of which, wasn't there something still broken with um, the alphas? And something proposed about fixing invisible friends? Uh, we're not doing anything to invisible friends ever again. At least not on purpose. And <laughs> there's always something wrong with some flavor of alpha under some conditions. Uh, Tolerus, I, I actually have absolutely no idea what that switch is supposed to do.
or not do. I don't even know what it is. Uh, offhand, that sounds like something that we should just take out. But I'll have to I'll have to ask people about it. <laughs> hey, I made it barely. We're we're gonna try a slightly new strategy yes. for uh, rendering fixes for a while, actually. Yes. Um, we're going to we're going to separate rendering fixes from all other fixes so there'll be a separate re release stream because we've had a lot of we've had a lot of stuff in the maintenance viewers lately where we're trying to fix some of the noxious rendering thing uh, and we introduce uh, and in the process because that's the most difficult code in the viewer we end up introducing some other problem and then a whole bunch of perfectly good fixes get yeah, that's, I'll do that, Whirly. Uh, a whole bunch of other fixes get stuck behind the fact that we've got these rendering problems. So what we're going to do is whenever we're going to do any work on rendering, it will go in a rendering branch, and all other fixes will go in a separate maintenance branch. Uh, and we'll see if that way we can get the regular fixes out more quickly and do a better job QAing the rendering stuff. So that's the that's the, sort of the plan for the beginning of next year. Uh, and we'll see we'll see how that works out ah i see okay that sounds like something we could take that auto feature out because you don't really need it anymore is that right Okay, fair point. Uh, so, let's see. Any other topics? Welcome, Tess. Thank you. Sorry I'm late. I was stuck in traffic. I just wanted to say thank you um, for uh, sticking your neck out and uh, hosting those mirrors for us. Really helped out a lot. And um, also, uh, in a way, the roles were reversed. I seem to remember when we released with display names, we sort of DDoSed you guys. Um, so you guys gave us bento and DDoSed us. Yeah. Let's call it an even slate now, okay? <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's true, right? 
Uh, yeah, I will. Uh, after the holidays, I'll take a look at your stats and we'll see what your uh, uptick is. I'd be really interested to uh, to see. It should be pretty high. I mean, we had um, right at the end there, we had over 8,000 people in our preview group. This is just a preview group just to get Bento um, as an alpha build, no less. And uh, so that was that unprecedented, really. We've never had that kind of, a, of, a, of an uptake. We expect most of them to leave. Maybe hopefully, um, but <laughs> inevitably we'll have for our next round of QA we'll have a probably a, a pretty good share of, of users in the preview group plus our regular beta, and uh, we'll be going back to our normal um, QA cycle. I think our beta testers will be happy to hear. Yeah, it was way yeah. more than jiggly boobs. Yeah. No, Bento is it's ridiculous just how much load we had, and and I actually exacerbated the whole situation because our download server uh, seemed to have locked up and I decided I'll reboot the, the download server and um, when I did that I guess then everybody started hitting refresh on our web server and locked up the web server as well and uh, so it's it sort of double whammy. We will um, we learned some lessons, and uh, we'll not make those mistakes again. From now on, we'll have a, a mirror for all of our downloads uh, ahead of time. And uh, actually, um, really, we're going to look into um, hosting, getting uh, Atlas to host Jira instead of us hosting it, because Jira takes a big load on the server. Uh, so I'm going to look into that. Is it? I don't know. We're, we're, we're going to look into it anyway. I'm not. I'm not um, decided on anything. I just want to see what. What? Uh... Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, Jira is is a resource hog. Uh, you would never rage quit. Um, uh, Jira is a, is a, a pretty. Big hog. Look how long it takes for Jira to come back up. When we reboot the server, it takes Jira like 10 minutes to even more. Yeah, well, I'm not getting rid of it. We're not switching to Redmine yet. <laughs> unless unless you ask uh, Nikki. But we've got to... <laughs> yet? <laughs> uh, we've got to find... Um, we've got to find some resources because the server is under load. We might switch to Bitbucket as well, just to make you rage more. Yeah, instead of hosting the repos <laughs> ourselves. Well, that's, yeah. No, I'm just, you know. <laughs> we, can't, we, can't, <laughs> we can't have a repeat of this. This was a disaster. Absolute disaster. <laughs> Both ideas, by the way, were Nikki's. And she was serious. <laughs> and oh my gosh, this is like the last uh, through print of your meeting till Christmas. Are you going to pick them up on the 30th or are you going to move it to the 6th, the next one? Uh, the next, well, it's not the 30th because you guys still probably I will, I will neither be working nor even at home. Uh, um, the next one is the 13th, January the 13th. Oh, so we're going a whole month. Uh, yeah, it kind of works out that way. Wow. And I guess I could move it back, but I, I don't. I don't think there will actually be that you much. You won't miss to, us that much. Well, it's just actually, not, right. that, there much won't be is, any, any not that much is going to yeah. have happened. No, because uh, we're shut down. Well, a lot of people are taking next week off. 
and uh, we're shut down for all of the week after that. And we won't have anything to beat you guys with either, so. Yeah, so January the 13th. Yeah, it is right. It will be a Friday. And Cindy, you're taking over uh, Ray Guest. I love you. I'm really glad to hear that. That's fantastic. And how are you finding time? Because <laughs> I, I know you're swamped. I mean, seriously. No iPhone can go dip in the toilet, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's not get political yeah. here. <laughs> or religious or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Apple. Anyway, Cinder, I think that's great. Um, if you need any help, it is. like anything, because a lot of people rely on that viewer. And uh, I hope Alchemy has still a bright future. Oh, yeah, no, I can't help you there. Yeah, it needs bento, too. So right now, uh, Firestorm, Catsnip, and Linden Viewer have bento. Do any of the other viewers have bento right now, released? Uh, Black Dragon does. Oh, of course, he probably released that months ago. Uh, yeah, he was, as usual, jumping the gun. <laughs> Does Kakua, has Kakua done a release? Uh, no, I think they're no, planning they're on it never will. next. Uh, I think they're planning on, Kakua's planning on something next week. Uh, well, Cindy, you were on the Firestorm team for a while. You know how that goes <laughs> and continues to, to go. Most of the nerves are worn out to nothing, so. No, Kitty, that's your tail. So uh, I guess I, the only thing left I have is to say congratulations, Linda Lab, on Bento. That's Veer and Ryder and everybody who was involved in that. It seems to be like a ridiculously good success so far. We're uh, we're pretty ecstatic about it. I've I'm, never seen I'm, demand like that ever. I'm fascinated by all the cool stuff people are building out of it. Yeah, I may I have to. to I may have to learn how to build mesh things and rigging so that I can build some of the. Oh, I'm just gonna buy it. <laughs> things I want. So I've I've played with with uh, Maya and ben, Blender and the no, I'll just buy the stuff. But I can't wait to get like a Nico tail again and some decent ears. All right, yeah, you can. You, your your standard avatar needs an update now. Yeah, well, we all do, really. No, yeah. I'm not. I won't. I'm not doing the bento head though. You have to figure out what the what the deal with the animations. Freezing problem is we have, we have yeah, a couple, of, a few couple of examples now of things that cause animations to trip over each other. Mm. Sure, that's not out. conflicting AOs or something like somebody wearing an existing AO. No, actually, the problem the, the problem happens when you're not using an AO. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Wait, yeah. wait, animations are tripping over each other when we're not using an animation override? Right, it seems to be. Oh, oh really? Really's going on break for a little while. And when she comes back, Cheer is going to be gone. We'll be on Bitbucket, fully hosted. Probably switch to Redmine. <laughs> Stop torturing. <laughs> Poor girl. <laughs> yeah. 
I, yeah, there's, um, actually, I think we have to do an renew our license or something is coming up. I'm not sure. Uh, so any other topics? I don't... Uh, that's it for me. Other than uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, all that fun stuff. And and those of you on my team, you may notice Ed is online right now. Notice what, Jess? Ed is online. First time in months. Ed months is online? Months. Mm -hmm. uh, he's not on my friends list, so I wouldn't know. But I wasn't aware that Ed was gone. Yeah, he's been uh, offline for quite a few months now. I managed to drag him in today. <laughs> so we're, we won't go to Redmine, I promise, but I am considering um, self hosting from Atlas. I'm just considering it. I'm just considering it. I know, I know. We got to take some of the load off our server. Actually, you know what we can do is close all our open Jiras. How many open Jiras do we have? Close them all, it just won't fix and start fresh. And we'll have a bug free viewer too. Well, we could just delete them all. <laughs> no, I thought about that actually back was um, if we could disable it temporarily, at least for the first 24 hours, but um, that's probably not reasonable either. <laughs> No, I think if we do, we'll have mirrors in place um, beforehand. And I think what I'll do is I will restart the download server just before we release. So it's nice and fresh. And um, having the other mirrors in place as well. Uh, oh, Oz. Um, so when are you picking up the uh, Oculus version of the viewer next year? That is still on the table, right? Just on the back burner? No, not really. What? what don't, do you mean, don't really have any plans for it. What? No, you're not scrapping it. I'm not doing anything with it. You, you're not going to pick it back up? Sure. I... Do not plan to. Oh, that's sad. Sad face. Uh, I, I am, I am not convinced that it's possible to produce a comfortable frame rate. Well, they're doing it for sensor. <laughs> they have an entirely different rendering engine. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, but see, you just finished saying though that you're going to start working on the render engine, right? So no. You're going to. <laughs> I didn't say that. I said I'm going to move the rendering fixes to a branch of their own. Yeah, see? So then you can do more more rendering fixes. There you go. No, it means I can do fewer of them. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, we'll do as many of them as we think we can, but uh, that's an entirely different story. Um, the, problem, the problem is that uh, to get... Get a comfortable, a human comfortable frame rate on on a stereo viewer. Mm -hmm. You really need to get the equivalent of a frame rate of a of a current Second Life frame rate in 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 FPS numbers that you're used to reading off of your viewer. 
of about 120 minimum, bare minimum. Wow. Just can't get there. I, I don't believe we can get there on, you know, any system anybody's really got. Hmm. Um, because you have to because you have to produce a frame rate of 60 frames per second on two screens simultaneously yeah, yeah. But even well, that's, actually that's, even that's, that's entire, hard. like uh, like if it could work off because i just bought this gear vr headset on the cyber monday sale um of course that only works with my android phone but uh that does use one screen does the rift actually use two screens or does it use one big screen it it doesn't matter. You're drawing two images. Uh, yeah, true. Mm -hmm. You you have to re-render this this the whole screen twice, accounting for the eye position difference. So you have to you know mm -hmm. figure out where the where the center of your vision is and displace it a couple of centimeters one way and render the scene and then displace it yeah. a couple of centimeters the other way and to render the scene again and that's what you put on the on the on the two halves of the screen you know one for the one eye yeah. and one for the other yeah and in you fact, need to get that's, and then you know what what everybody seems to agree on is that you need to get well above 60 frames per second doing that uh or you're going to be throwing up hmm not, I'm just not convinced that that can. Uh, I I have no way to I have no way to figure that out really. I just don't know. It, I mean, I assume that it's a pretty small percentage, but that's not really the point. The the point is that even with a really high end system, and we because of Sansar development, we have lots of really high end systems around. Um. You know, we, we have hardware around that we could test this on, and if it could be made to work, we could run it. Uh, it's not clear that it can be made to work. Um, and it's such a tiny fraction of the Second Life user base that there are just lots of other things. So what other on. things? So what other things? Uh, you know I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, mirrors. <laughs> That's never no, going to happen. That's disappointing. I do not plan to do mirrors. Secret things. Secret things. You can. Your secrets are safe with us. Yeah. <laughs> it, it'll stay secret. I promise. You and the video. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And then there's uh, the. No, I mean we we got a lot of things we might might work on next year. So we'll. I, we'll I heard something it. about uh, wind light. Uh, well, I keep hoping that we can get back to the wind light stuff. That's I, you all know that that's one of my favorite. And things and I heard that Ryder has a big on. ask for that too, or not Ryder? Sorry, Patch has a big ask for that. Yes, Patch is a big fan of the wind light. Yeah, things. rain. Yeah. Well, <laughs> rain. On, I don't you can know. do it. You can do it. You can do it. Uh. <laughs> You know you wanna. Yeah, the rain's not great, but but in the in the world it would be good, especially if it bounced off the roof. Well, that's that's why we didn't do it. Well, that I mean, that is the ask, right? I mean, that's the biggest part of the ask. It's to so in order to do that, you have to do it with physics. But there, there but, are a bunch of other there are a bunch of other wind like ish things that I'd very much like to get around to doing. So what's the holdup on those? It's just how many All the people other we've got to do things. Which, by the way, I should reiterate because I should reiterate it every opportunity. I have two open recs. For developers. You can't have my devs. Don't tell them. <laughs> Shh. You know, you know what your problem, though, is um, with with that is you don't do remotes anymore, really. So you, you need your dev I, devs to sure be, I do. like... I just, just, I don't, I, I can't do them everywhere. Ah. There are, there are uh, half a dozen states I can hire in. Ah, but just states. I, See, I'm not there's sure. There's a lot of good developers. 
real numbers. There's a lot of good devs in in uh, the UK. That's true. I can't I can't do anything outside the US right now. Uh, as that's, much as that's I would annoying. like. Yeah. You must outsource. Uh, but or can uh, Canada. I have managed to relocate people in the past. Well, yeah, there is that. Last time that's I was right. hiring. And some of the places where we can hire are very cool places. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I mean, Seattle is very nice. Yeah, well, that's a point, too. Beck has a very good point. You've also got the whole Trump thing going on there, so. I can't comment on that. Yeah, no, we won't. I'm just saying, though. <laughs> Definitely not going there. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's Seattle, there's anywhere in yeah, California. Yeah, Seattle, I heard, is extremely expensive to live. Uh, anywhere there are good engineers, is expensive to live. As, as yeah, I suppose. It seems to work out. Uh, what is I don't know about it, Cinder. If you send me info, I'll think about it. Well, Oz, I know you have one in um, the San Francisco Bay Area. I know there's Seattle. I know there was one in Boston. And I think you I, had one in Dallas, didn't you? We, I, I, we have some employees in Texas, yes. See, we, I don't, Texas. we don't actually have an office there. We have some remote employees. But I would gladly move to um, Seattle for a job. Oh, yeah, that's right. Where there was one in v in Virginia as well. Yes, we have a Virginia office. Right? I didn't know you had a Virginia office. Wasn't there one Very in small. Miami as well? No. Um, See, uh, I think you guys should just all move to Canada. That would probably be logistically complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but well, your dollar is worth more here. While well, your dollar goes further here. Uh, there are an awful lot of the Californians who think that cold is bad. So, so that's silly. You might just be have a to dress little for bit it. of a. Yeah. And hibernate. I actually read a great article about uh, somebody who tried to study. This is way off topic. Uh, I apologize, but you know, a few. Um, about uh, somebody went to study seasonally affected depression oh yeah yeah she, yeah she thought it would be good to go to like northern norway to to do the study because they have the whole winter where yeah it's dark all the time dark turns out nobody there has it nobody and they all think wonder, winter is wonderful and well, that's interesting uh, they have a lo they have a they they told her there's no such thing as bad weather there's only bad clothing <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a fact. That's that's a fact. If you dress for it, you're fine. Yeah. yeah. Well, with it's all the respect, Texas is super cold here today. It's, 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 it was yeah, it's below cold zero when I got up this morning. It's a minus 17. My, it was minus 33 Celsius uh, with the wind uh, this morning. But well, it now nice. it's getting warm and we're going to have like 20 centimeters of snow or something coming. It's about, it was about it's minus like five Fahrenheit here this morning, which is yeah. You know, but if you dressed cold. for it, I photographed yeah, yeah. some snowy owls in the middle of a field, way out in the middle of a field, with like howling cold winds, and um, nice and warm as long as you dress for it. Yeah. But there is, I, I, I do believe there is a, because come January, February. It's everybody's depressed here because the you know the shorter hours and and also because it's cold we're indoors more as well um, and yeah you know, we get February blahs we call it I don't know about Norway maybe they've maybe they've evolved <laughs> differently I don't know oh yes yeah, spiders no thanks. Okay, uh, I have another meeting at the top of the hour, so I should get going. Any last okay, yeah. minute topics? Nope, not for me.
happy Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy holidays. Merry happy Christmas, Christmas, whatever. And... Have a have a good break, everybody, and I will see you in 2017. See you in 2017, Oz, and Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> and Rhea, thanks for talking to me about that problem I was experiencing. Oh, sure, yeah, I hope you're able to get some uh, action on that. Yeah, it gives me some help on that. 